Hey guys, welcome to Let's Go Cats of Snap. And today we're going to be making a knocker rig. A knocker rig for the uh, hogfish. So first of all, I'm going to start off with a diamond 30 pound fluorocarbon line. And why am I using a fluorocarbon line? Because guys, the hogfish is not an easy fish to catch starting with to start with and you want to use a line that's at least the least visible as possible and fluorocarbon is invisible in the water okay so that's the first thing we're going to do so we're going to do a knot right here All right. Alrighty, and we're going to run it right through here. And we'll take it up the other side, bring it around here. Alright, guys, so what I like to do is I like to get it on the edge or something and just really give it a nice tug, you know, to make sure that this thing here. It's nice and tight, all right? Front, tighten it up, nice and tight. All right, there you go. All right, so we got the hook already tight, tightened down. Next thing you're gonna get, you're gonna get your pair of pliers, you know. If you don't have it, a knife or something, be careful. Cut your, your line, there it goes right there. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your uh, beads, okay? So you're gonna add your beads right to it. All right, just like that. I like to add at least uh, four of the beads, guys. All right, show you how that's gonna look. Okay, get four of the beads in here. All right, there it goes. Then you get the other one. Then you get your two ounce sinker. Put it right in there just like that. Okay. And then you're going to get your swivel. Alright. Get it right through there. And get your nut, your, your nut back in there. A little bit tougher line to tie, but a much stronger resistant and invisible line than the monofilament is. Okay, all right. So, cut the little pieces left over, just like that, and here goes your knocker rig for the uh, for the hogfish with your swivel at the end share like and subscribe let's go catch some snaps